Jeff here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this wonderful Wednesday here in Connecticut. Life's good, campers. Life is good. One of my viewers sent me this uh, picture. I'm sure most of you have seen it before of uh, an x-ray, MRI, whatever you want to call it, a Bud Brisbois tongue and whatnot when he's playing, when he's playing. Very, very interesting and explains a lot. Okay, I have played quite a bit. Let me honk a little bit and we'll get to it. Put the link down below. A couple things I want you to look at. His lower register, okay, um, he's doing the old fashioned way. Articulation back, articulation back, articulation back. The minute he gets above a high C, his tongue gets forward, stays forward, and gets thicker as he goes higher. Now, there's things we can take from this and uh, I think it's as simple as could be. His middle register stunk. <laughs> I mean, it was not a great tone. You've heard me say a zillion times, Fattis, and I put pictures of Fattis in there with his screamer mouthpiece, a whole nine yards, played with a melodic tone and a rich tone that could play in any symphony orchestra. Harry James, <laughs> Parduba double cup and his trump, B flat trumpet, teaching the excerpts better than any first trumpet player going. Okay? We can go on and on. Doc could do it. Perico can do it. And that is do all the screaming you want, but the tone is rich and pure in the middle register and the lower register to play in any symphony orchestra. Buddy Brisbane couldn't do that. His tone was thin, it was strained, it was scratchy. He wouldn't, he wouldn't last five minutes at a trumpet audition. But where he made his money and where he was astounding was above high C and his tongue locked in. I'm saying if he left the tongue there and anchored it, depending on his mouthpiece, and I'm not sure what he played, absolutely he has the talent and whatnot to play in any symphony orchestra. Be -da -de -da -da -da. He can do that. He can do that as good as anybody. But the tone wasn't right. I'm saying if he had the same tongue position to where he made his money, the astounding upper register and the lower register, he may have been the greatest of all time. You young guys don't know what his big, big LA studio and uh, studio musician and um, on hundreds of albums um, and had his own band at different times. Throughout his entire life, he uh, suffered with manic depression. Um, he moved out to Arizona, I believe, to stay with his uh, sister. Got back to playing a little bit, 
thought his chops were better than they had ever been in his life, and a few days later he committed suicide. 41 years old. There you go. But anyway, all of you, check out Bud, Bud Bridge Boy at his best. It's just uh, interesting to watch those uh, chops. You notice his teeth are not wide open either. Again, a little choked in the sound in the middle register. Jerry always wanted the teeth wide open. Okay? So check out this. Uh, tell me what you think. I think it's as plain as can possibly be. Anyway, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all. Thank you.